maybe if if you show me once at least like that GMM, I would be yeah, also would, using look, look, it. Look, I'm using now uh, one. I'm writing one article. I can give you an example how it works mm -hmm. in my article. So uh, here's the, for example, what I was doing here. This is my data. Can you see mm -hmm. it? Yes. Here. So I'm using only this variable. Like I'm using 10 variables, but I have more than uh, around 30 variables, even more than 30 variables. I have maybe 35 variables in total, but I'm using in total 11 or 10 variables. Those mm -hmm. other variables I'm using as instruments that will solve the problem of uh, endogeneity. So what I start with, I start with uh, regression. Like mm -hmm. I do the regression, for example. First of all, I did the regression. Here's my regression analysis results, okay? For example, mm -hmm. come up. So I need to be sure that the model I selected is well fitted, like is suitable. There is no multicollinearity between these variables. Like they are not highly correlated. So I should mm -hmm. check it for various in, variance inflationary factor that measures it. So what I can see here, Islam, mm -hmm. in order not to have the multicollinearity in my model, that my model, my model is this one, like name, here, this is the model. Mm -hmm. This is my model. Uh, in order to be sure that my model is not bad one, is good one, my, we, uh, my mean width various inflationary factor or just width for each variable should not be above five. But you can see the results of width. Uh. 45, 16, 14, 8, 6. So my model is not good. So the... It, it applies to all the variables that should not be ex, uh, ex, there are greater some, than there are some, yeah, There are some variables that kills my model. So I should exclude okay. that variable. Mm. And how can I find it? I can find it using the correlation. Which variable highly correlated with, with each other. So I make some correlation. For example, I made the correlation. And I'm trying to find the highest correlation in here. Like mm -hmm. I can, you can search it in by one by one, each column. So the highest correlation here is... Uh, the positive we are looking for, right? It doesn't matter. It can be negative. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. All the correlations... But the greater numbers. Yeah, greater numbers. More than 50. Look at here. 59, 56, 60, 77. It's just give me like quotation between trade and ship. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm just taking note, like these variables are highly correlated. I should do something with them. Then I move further. So in here, no problem. Here, 74. So PS and CC. I'm taking note, like between PS and CC. They're moving forward between CC and trade. You see? So I see that trade is twice is correlating with the two different numbers highly. Yes. Now I can see with the third variable it's highly correlated. Look at just after it. So I'm just trying to check the trade only. Look, trade is highly correlated with one, two, three, four, almost with the four variables. So it which means I will exclude the trade. So I will mm -hmm. come up with a new model here. Not this one. This is my new model, let's say. Mm -hmm. I run it. And after that, I'm checking for width. So what you can see from results? What mm -hmm. was the condition? It's Le less than the, five. Uh, ever, yeah. Ever. yeah, my mean width is very good. So my uh, good model estimation of it so is this one. So which means there will be no questions about the multi multicollinearity. So that's it. I killed the multicollinearity issue. Mm -hmm. Now I can use this model and run the regression. So I'm using, now I want to see how the extra bond. However, I said, apart from the multicollinearity, there is an outer correlation issue. There is yes. a heteroscedasticity issue. Mm -hmm. and, and there is a biggest problem. Uh, when I measure the financial performance, I should keep in mind that previous year's financial performance should affect the current year as well. Mm -hmm. So 
However, in regular measure in OLS, we do not include the previous year's financial performance. So in order to solve it, we need to run, and this is called endogeneity issue. When the last year's uh, performance is affecting today's performance, this is the endogeneity that you do not consider in normal OLS, apart from okay. autocorrelation, apart from uh, heteroscedastic and et cetera. So what I do, I'm just running, uh, this uh, system GMM in <laughs> system GMM is divided in some part into some part okay just let me just make it like this for example this part uh, do you see this comma yes this is just my model and this is common extra bond too okay it's just a comment. What does that extra bond command means? Uh, it means you're giving a command to run system GMN. Oh, okay, got it. To run system GMN. All right, that's it. Until <laughs> comma. Mm -hmm. Until comma, you're given the comment. However, in system GMM, you should assume there are some variables that are endogenous variables, like endogenous issue. Uh, there, there is a biggest problem, like previous performance and previous events are affecting the current events. This is endogeneity okay. fault. In order to solve okay. that, you need to find those endogenous variables. And for my case, I'm assuming that my endogenous variables are these ones, like NIM, lag of NIM, the lag of means the last year net interest margin, and theta, last year of theta. Okay? Mm -hmm. This is my assumption. So this is my endogenous variables. You may ask question, how am I sure that they're endogenous variables? Mm -hmm. How do, do I come up that they are endogenous? So basically, uh, lag of uh, your dependent variable, it's for sure it's endogenous variable. But how are you gonna prove it? We're gonna prove it with the result that we get it. I'm gonna show you how we get uh, like satisfaction of the result that this is endogenous variable. And okay. theta, I assume that this is theta as well. So until this here, we are assuming, we are finding, so from comma to comma, so from comma to this IV, this is what we call an uh, endogenous part that we are trying to find the endogenous variable. Let's say once we identify the endogenous variable, now is the mm -hmm. time to solve it. Endogenous is the problem. Now we need to solve it. We need to find the instruments that can solve it. Mm -hmm. Those instruments are in these brackets, like in IV, open the bracket, and these are the instruments that we are using to solve it. You remember I said, told you, please download as many variables as possible in order mm -hmm. in the future we'll use them as instrumental variables okay so we are using them as instrumental variables to solve the endogeneity problem so we put it here and robust two step robust two step like you're making a robust two step system gmm there's a one step system gmm there's a two step system gmm and there is a mm -hmm. difference gmm but the best one According to Rudman, who wrote this, who like invented this uh, system GMM itself, he said that the best one uh, among these all system GMMs is the robust two step. <laughs> That's why I'm using like robust two, two step, not one step, not uh, just difference GMM. All right. Okay, once I did it, everything's okay. I can just. Now, I just press enter. This is my result. The interpretation of the results is the same as you interpret in OLS. Mm -hmm. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have same variables are significant. The other is not significant. So it's okay. No problem. How can we check the problem of autocorrelation? Whether the model has got the autocorrelation? 
So to check the autocorrelation, we use IR1, IR2 model here. Mm -hmm. So this is autocorrelation. Autocorrelation in the first order, autocorrelation in the second order. These are not significant, which means the autocorrelation does not exist. Okay. Okay. If it was significant, then autocorrelation exists in the model. So you should run more. You should find more instrumental variables to solve the problem of autocorrelation. Mm -hmm. How can you check whether your instrumental variables and endogenous variables are good ones, are best fitted? Here's the, we use it, Hansen test, okay? Mm -hmm. It should not be significant as well. And these are the variables we are paying attention. So this all four. So one, two, three, four, five. These all five variables should not be significant. In order okay. for your instrumental variables and indigenous variables should be justified. So my all instrumental variables, my uh, indigenous variables are justified because of the insignificance of Hansen test. Is that clear? Okay. Yes, yes. So once everything is done, but in here, Islam, I want to pay. At, I want you to pay attention more to the Hansen test. Okay, okay. Rudman. Rudman is the person, is the scholar who invented this system, GMM. Mm -hmm. GMM, actually, from the beginning, it comes from Arellan and Bond. This is the old. Mm -hmm. Okay, the beginning of the GMM comes from Arellan and Mo Bond. However, the system GMM. Mm -hmm. comes from the Rudman. Okay. Here is the name. Rudman. Rudman, 2009. Okay. So he created System German. He explains everything from detail, how it works, what coding you should use it, <coughs> and how you apply it. And taking into consideration that he said that Hansen test should be between 0 0.10 and 0 0.30. If it is above or below, there is a problem. Mm -hmm. in the model okay so the Hansen test justifies the correctness of the model right itself yes whether you use mm -hmm. correctly the instruments or not but I will share one article with you which is published in a very reputable journal the publication mm -hmm. was in 2018 okay uh, right. uh, I will show you and you will be shocked how how did they let them to publish? Look, uh, article, I think I shared with you. Article is good. The idea of the article is very good. However, uh, there was something provocazione. Uh, problem with the model. Oh, okay. Problem with the model itself. And most of the scholars, they don't pay attention for it. Uh, where is here? Here's an article. This is a very good journal, mm -hmm. Pacific Basin Finance Journal. It's not easy to publish in this journal. It is a very reputable journal and it's a good one. However, every, the idea is okay, what he was done, what their guys are trying to do. But when I saw the results, I was shocked how could they affect it. But it's not only in this article. It, uh, this happens in all of the articles. Look at, uh, he used what here? He didn't use the system German. Not this article, sorry. Uh, this one, I think. He didn't, by the way, this, uh, like two minutes ago, I just wrote the condition of accepting this Hansen test for over identification. 
Uh, it was only mm -hmm. just for system GMM. There is a normal GMM. It's not, you, don't, you will not see the Hansen test, okay? This is oh, Hansen okay. test only in system GMM. System GMM is the most updated one, the most updated, uh, we can say the technique which is used nowadays. So our data which we use the system GMM, right? Yeah, yeah. We apply the system. We, we, you can do all of it, like different, different GMM, system GMM, and etc. But oh, okay. For example, this guy uses just GMM. You see. Uh, he said that estimation of with EA model as endogenous and the PL model as separate. He used that equity to assets like theta as endogenous mm -hmm. variable, and PL uses as instrumental variable. Mm example they don't share it uh, the way I saw it in one article I think this guys correlation look at here this mm -hmm. journal, this article was published in Journal International. It's a good one article and it's 2011, but look at the p-value in here, the Hansen test. They're using system German. It's one. Like it shows that where the Rudman has said that mm. it shouldn't be mm. more than 30 and it shouldn't be less than zero point, like it should, it should be between 10 and 30%. But in here they got 100% of rejection. Mm. Mm. Can you see it? It shouldn't be more than yes, yes. There, there is a problem in the model, definitely. And it is, it cannot be one, it's like some, for hundred percent, they should there is a. It cannot be for hundred percent. So it's a good model. Best fitted is between ten and thirty. So this type of articles are many. Mm -hmm. So your question is how it was allowed to publish when when the. Yeah. When it this this was disagrees with the model, yes. I mean that the, means that, means the that the uh, reviewer is not uh, well uh, equipped with the econometrical techniques, like he doesn't mm -hmm. know much about the econometrical analysis. They just like the idea. Mm -hmm. This is the system GMM how it works. But in order to get these results, for example, for one model, I tried today, for example, 250, like 247 times to get these mm -hmm. results, satisfying results. This is for one model, and I will try for the second model as well. Yeah, I don't quickly understand what I what 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 my results are telling me. You know, so don't worry. Just collect the data, Islam. Collect the data. Mm -hmm. We will run just OLS and get the result. Between the OLS, there is a fixed and the random effect OLS. So we'll have to use one of it. You showed us FE one. Yeah, FE or RE. We have to know which one we're going to use it. So just collect the data and two models I'm going to send you now. Uh, the screenshot that I wrote mm -hmm. at the beginning, I'll send you by WhatsApp so you can use it and collect. The and, the, and the 
representation of file you 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 said something wrong with it uh, no no the, i didn't mean that it's totally wrong uh, i mean i didn't see it but i didn't now everything is good like i just open it like this like all the variables you have it just there are some missing parts everything is good everything is good there's nothing wrong with this but um is is it correct thing that we i did that <clears throat> i applied um for every country the total re for example the royal name for example yes, yes you see it's 0 0.16 is like repeated in in every country every year wait wait are you sure wait wait raw yeah no raw ah no 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 islam for albania mm -hmm. it should be this is for example for albania right for armenia it should be totally different but how are we gonna make it different when we we, uh, we have only banks uh, EBRD is total one. No, no, EBRD for Ar Albania one is total one, very true. For Armenia is different EBRD than from the Albania, isn't it? But we don't have for each country, right? We have only general tax nim wait uh, so i applied no, 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 the total no, no. nim for one, every country one question one question for investment ebrd do you have it for each country yes yes that one is correct then return on asset net interest margin is you have it for all countries here if yes it's it's for all countries no 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 it's for it's divided by country not like one roe for all countries no it's not like this it's for each country each country has got its ROA. When you select in here, like first of all, you have to select the database itself. For example, country, I want Albania, let's say. Mm -hmm. And Armenia. Just example. The series, I'm going to use it here. Look, uh, equity to total asset, let's say. For each country, it should be same. Cost to income ratio, same. Sorry, differently for each country. And net interest margin. So if I select the years, I'm going to select, let's say, for all years, what is available. Apply changes. Download. Look, Albania and Armenia, they have different, uh, we don't need it for this year. So let's say it starts from here. From 96, yeah. Look. Eliminate till 96. They are different. They're all numbers should be different for each country should be the, its own return on asset, return on equity. Like net interest margin for one country means that includes all the banks for one country but it cannot be like for all countries the same yeah because our name represented the ebrd bank not the country's uh, data you know? ah now i go to you i go to yes you. i go to that's and why we cannot every 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 variable in there is for ebrd ah I see, I see now. Only, only macroeconomics variables are for each country separately. Then no, 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 no. Definitely this uh, data set cannot be run like this, Islam. Yes, that's, that's what I was thinking as well. Like, no, 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 how no, cannot we can, be. I can I didn't the... pay, Look, I didn't pay attention to the similarity of the numbers, you see? Now I realize they are same. So what you should do, uh, investment by country, you leave it like this is good. This is part is okay. Mm -hmm. So go to World Bank and download this data mm -hmm. from here. They are all available here. Yes, okay. And then we'll have a good database in here. 
and trade openness, corruption, they're all here. They are all available here. But how are we gonna how are we gonna like achieve the net interest margin on of the bank then? Uh, how are we gonna it's here, Islam. Uh, but it's by this, country. Yes, this is what we needed. By country. Ah, okay. We this is what we needed by country because your investment EBRD is by country. It's not for all country, isn't it? For each country is different. <clears throat> if you're yeah, EBRD, I wish I could I wish I could have a look on this name like separately, you know, for each country. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, you know, <laughs> from every time you make this data set, it you get more experience. I know it's a bit <laughs> time consuming, but work out. It works to do it. You will use yeah, it. I, I wish I want to. I want to bet right now my forecast against the actual numbers when I will see them. <laughs> <laughs> Once you collect this data set, believe me, you're gonna get a lot of benefits in the future while using it. Because I collected once, and I'm using still. I'm making more articles and more articles from the same data set. Yeah, this EBRD didn't hire me twice. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Islam, then you have to work out, please. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. It. Just finish it as up. I, I need some revenge for that. Okay. Actually, it's not a big, uh, you may spend like one hour to collect the data. It's all available in this. It's, all the series are here. Yeah, the problem is just to copy pasting them like uh, in a different manner, like uh, to that format, you know? Cut, cut look. and paste, cut yeah, look, and paste look, look. down. What you do here, just once again, I'll show you. Copy, mm -hmm. transpose. I forgot to copy the name of the ratio. So the name of the ratio will be at top here. Yeah, insert some, okay. So this ratio name. It's not that much difficult. Once you get to it, here, transpose. That's it, all here. You already arranged by all the rest. That's it. If you have, let's say, 10 countries, but all countries. Now, now I need to, for example, insert one Armenia in between, and I should put them down, you know? That takes time. Yeah, it will not take more than two hours. It's for sure. It's yes, for it's sure. Us, right. It's for sure. Once you know the techniques and it will be like shortcut, 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 that's it, you'll get it directly. Yes, yes, I can do that one. Okay, uh, here we make it like this, let's say, one more time. What you need to do here, oops, why did I cut it? I should copy it. Just want to sh show you again. All right. To be sure that you will follow the correct way. Transpose. Now look, Albania, Albania, what you will do here, you will just copy this part for Armenia mm -hmm. and paste it here. And run these years for Armenia. That's it. If it, let's say 10 countries, do for all 10 countries like this. Put them all in one column by ratio. Okay. You got it? Yes, yes, I'm doing the same way. Okay, this then. Ones. then okay. Then. Do but it and it let just, me know. It just, when, when, when the column is two, for example, for 38 countries, you need to yeah, cut it like I in know. a big and shorten it and shorten it and, you know. <laughs> <laughs> just, it's okay, Islam, just spend the time. <laughs> I know it's a, yeah, it's all right. So bank net interest margin by country, bank cost to income, capital to total assets. Yes, what else I, I should select? So wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna send you. Uh, it's today's meetings here. Screenshot. Here's the variables. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna send you this screenshot to you. So select this all variables. We're gonna use them all. Okay. <clears throat> Select for and one model. GDP growth. 
you remember I had a question. It it was in billions, and it, it went, then we take the logarithm of it, and it yes. it came up to nine and ten only. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It should be like this. Really? Yeah, yeah. Because okay. then I then I decided to take the GDP growth rate, and it was quite different, you know. Uh, Three percent, nine. No, no, no. Look, look. Yeah, I know, but in here. When the stata running the econometric analysis, it does not consider the amount of the variables itself. It considers the tendency, the increase or decrease in it by how much it, in terms of percentage increase or decreases. So the growth and the logarithm that we found, the tendency is the same. The proportion. But there is no inverse, inverse relation in LGDP. There is no minus sign. Okay. Not at all. In LGDP, of course, yes. logarithm it doesn't consider, but it 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 shows by how much it goes, it's it decreases or increases. For example, from uh, 2011 to 2000, let's say eight, it increases from 10 to 11, and from 2008 it goes down. For example, it like it changes. It doesn't show the negative sign, but it shows the direction. It reduces or increases. But professor, there is only nine or ten in numbers, you know, or eleven. Yeah, That's I know, it. I know, I know. Look, okay. look, look. Where's your old GDP? Here, for example, it was uh, nine point five. Now it's, it's nine. It's quite slow. The internet. Can you see now? Islam? Yes, yes, yes. Look, but you was, have some three, three and fours, huh? Yeah, because my GDP is small. Okay. My GDP is small itself. Look, 9.5, it goes to 9.36. It means reduces. It becomes to negative, you see? Mm -hmm. But it doesn't measure negatives. Then from 36 to 39, it increases. From minus 10 to 8, it increases. So mm -hmm. showing the same tendency, same direction. Okay, anyway, I have both GDP growth rate as well. Okay, and use the GDP. We can use the GDP growth. It doesn't matter. It doesn't all right. matter. Because uh, when you do the economic mm -hmm. analysis, it considers the changes between from one variable to another variable. Not the negative or plus signs. And and uh, the, the the another thing i started with i sent you in whatsapp the the market capitalization there is three ones three different relative market capitalization it gives market capitalization of listed domestic companies in percentage choose the first one as a percentage okay choose the first one as a percentage okay. and make them not percentage make them uh, decimal if it's like, like let's say 65 percent make it 0 0.65 okay because your all ratios are in decimal okay Okay, uh, let's keep in touch. In and the financial freedom, I I can find in what section, and and the rest of the things uh, because freedom. yeah, because some of them they were not there for sure. It's I think in world development indicators just financial freedom. doing business global economic prospects but it in which section heritage index financial freedom score 
Download core data. Because if 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 I visit even like differently this website, you can go like in a different pages and different until you that you get used to to this World Bank database as well. Uh, index financial freedom. Indicators. Where did I go? TC data three hundred sixty six. I can just search there at World Bank. No, I forgot where did, did I get it? Did I get it? Just a second, I'll find it for you, show you. <clears throat> oh, just a second. We don't have it here. And what? And it's somehow in scores, huh? It's it's okay. like I got it somewhere, but I don't remember. Wait, financial freedom. Or economic freedom, maybe. No, there is economic freedom separate as well. Financial separate, freedom. Right? Yeah, it's a different thing. Financial freedom data. It was economic, was it heritage? Let me see. Actually, economic freedom can be checked. Trade freedom, investment freedom, financial freedom. Here's the data set. Does it start from somewhere early? Because I found only from 2013. Yes, in TC data of World Bank, it gives only from 2013. If we don't have it, no problem. We can use the market capitalization. Mm -hmm. It's not a big deal, actually. How develop the market, huh? Yeah. 
and trade openness or something? Yeah, trade openness is good as well. Uh, but trade openness, I have it for, it's for all range. You found it from um, trade. What do you usually select except that global financial development section? Wait, I, sh I found something here. Just a second, I'll check it. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Uh, region, World Bank, 2020 score, GDP growth rate. This is all for 2020. Understand. Uh, One hundred eighty three countries. Graph Interactive Explorer, the data. Here's a financial free, but there should be a way of manipulating with the timing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Index of country in 2020. Uh, failure. Index of economic freedom. PDF, PDF, PDF. Relative trade, I have stock market total value traded to GDP. Value traded excluding top 10 traded companies. It's kind of doesn't sound well to me. It's in global financial development section, financial development indicators. Trade. Openness to trade. How are you, Mary? I am fine, brother. Brother, I just wanted to ask, uh, financial freedom, economic freedom, trade openness, from where you did you download the data? Yes, yes, for all countries. Ah, you have it. For all countries I need it. Are they available in the World Bank? Ah, they are not available, I see. Okay, send me the file then, file, uh, send it to me that you have it. For all countries, all countries. Send me the what, a website where I can download other countries as well. Not for me, for my friends. Okay, thank you so much, bro. Uh, it's ah, it's a number, not the percentages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. uh, when it starts, from which year? Ah, from zero to one hundred. Yeah. It's an index. 
Okay, no problem. We can convert it into percentage. Not a big deal. 